Researchers in Boston are exploring the potential of delivering drugs directly into the milk ducts via the nipple as a therapeutic option for breast cancer. Breast cancer is the second most common type of cancer among American women, following skin cancers. It is estimated that one in eight women will develop invasive breast cancer during their lifetimes. Most forms of breast cancer form in the cells lining the milk ducts, the thin tubes that transport milk from the milk glands to the nipple. Injections through the nipple can deliver drugs directly into this region. Current treatment options include intravenous chemotherapy, surgery, and radiation. Although beneficial, these treatments can result in undesirable side effects, and the body requires a period of time to rest and recover between treatments. The study authors claim that intranipple injections spare other regions of the body from treatment. Another benefit of this treatment approach is that the injections can be repeated on a weekly or bi-weekly basis over several months without damage to the nipple. Investigators injected live mice under anesthesia with Evans Blue dye to aid people in understanding the technique. The dye filled up the entire ductal tree of the mammary gland, making it readily visible to the eye. The study authors believe this technique is adaptable for a number of compounds, including chemotherapeutic agents, siRNA, and small molecules. However, they warn that the effectiveness of this technique is highly dependent on the operator.